All right, so I'm troubleshooting this battery. Um, I couldn't find any information. This is a Milwaukee 2.0 red lithium battery. And it's really interesting construction. So this black protector is what goes on the outside. The battery's sitting here. And here's your top cap. So this is what I do when I get bored. So this one's for my heated jacket, and because I love my heated jacket, I'm going to fix it. But apparently, I think these tabs are welded. Um, see, that one snapped right off. That one just chewed up, and I tried not to chew anything up. So that was a little disconcerting. But, back to the cool part. So... These are uh, 20 R's, and uh, I think I have some better cells that I've salvaged. Yeah, so I got these uh, 25 R's, so a bit better, a bit higher rated. Uh, these can do 23 or 24 amps continuous, I believe. While these are just, this is the older model for sure. Uh, slightly older, not much, but still. I can replace all three of these cells, and I'm probably going to, what I'm going to do, I think, is make an adapter for the battery pack. I'm going <clears> to <throat> mold and cast the, uh, the red plastic housing, and uh, the reason being, this thing sits on my hip right about where my kidney is and stabs me whenever I have to lay down and go under something in my heated sweatshirt. So, uh, with a little bit of CA glue, that's going to be held back together perfectly. But, uh, I'm going to mold uh, an adapter out of acrylic plastic with, uh, with the right tabs and everything, once I figure all this out, and make a blank adapter. Because Milwaukee did something interesting that I really am enjoying right now. There's a, a couple of resistors there and connections on this board. I don't think there's any... Can I get a peek up under there? There might be a MOSFET under there. Can't really tell what those are, but I don't care. There's no real sensing technology here. You've got your three cells common in such a way that... Uh, let's see, you got your battery negative, resistor 101 and 102, which are... 1001, so 100 ohms. Uh, February 10th, 2012, this pack was made. Or this board was made, I should say. I have no idea if this pack is that old. Probably is. I got it off of eBay. Um, with a charger for the jacket that I bought off of eBay. Or maybe I got this on Amazon. I don't know. I don't care. This is cool. A little bit of captain tape. There's the... Uh, Oh lord, thermal sensor, and just some nickel wires soldered up. So heavy, heavy nickel wire for your end of pack, and then end of pack. No, center of pack, end of pack, then top of packs under here. This one. Which again is a nickel wire. Huh. So it looks like this whole thing should roll that way. Yes. Hold on, let's take a look here. You're on my chest. Uh, Alright, coming underneath are just tabs. FP1614. On a very thick, nice circuit board. I hope you saw that. I'm not sure. Anyhow, that's another episode of Tech Doing Shit in a Car. Catch you later.